Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is how I made the Phaeton Corset. I started by making a mock-up with my desired silhouette. I had 2 meters of this printed fabric I desperately wanted to use. This is The Fall of Phaeton by Peter Paul Rubens. I'll be using black cotton twill as my main layer and lining. It will be overlaid with my printed chiffon. I will also use interfacing and a very light cotton as my interlining. I have my pattern, my pre-cut bonings. I also added some beige and black mesh here, but I wasn't sure yet what I was going to do with them. First I'm cutting 4 layers of cotton twill. Two for my main layer and two for my lining. Then I'm cutting four layers of interfacing as well as my interlining all at once. I have here my main layer, my interfacing, my interlining, and my lining. I'll start by fusing these two together with my steam press machine, repeating these steps with all the pieces. I'm assembling all the pieces together with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. As you can see here, I am sewing the interlining with the main layer. The fabric will serve as bone casing. And yes, I'm double stitching all the seams. I pressed all the seams off camera and now I'm top stitching on each side of the seams. Now I'm just cutting the excess fabric to remove any bulky areas. Time to sew the boning channels. Here is the front all done. The bonings are in as well. I'll go do the same for the back panels off camera and I will assemble the sides later. So now it's time to decorate the front and back with the beautiful chiffon. First I am overlaying on the bottom portion and pinning in place. I'm cutting the excess fabric and sewing all around by machine to secure the fabric in place. I'm then going to work on the top portion. I decided to go with multiple vertical pleatings. This is how I do it. Here is how it looks with both sides done. It was machine stitched and carefully pressed. Now I'm just repeating the same steps for the back panels. I 
I made the fold a little larger for the back, but they are vertical as well. So now I'm going to add more pleating, but this time with the beige mesh. I played around with the mesh off camera, and this is what I got. I love the result, so I'm repeating this on the other side. I'm using two different shades. Now I'm repeating this detail on the back panels. I kept the front of the corset beside as a reference for the size and number of folds. And now it's time to assemble the sides. I took my time to assemble the side seams correctly. I wanted the beige mesh from the front and back to match up as nicely as possible. After that, since I didn't want any binding for this corset, I whip stitched all of the top and bottom edge. This was my first time making a corset without binding, and I definitely loved the result. The base is done, so now I'm assembling the lining first by sewing the back and creating the boning channels for the lacing. I'm also inserting the bonings. And now to finish the corset, I'm whip stitching the top and bottom for the lining so it's nice and neat. So I knew I wanted to add something on the bottom of this corset. So I started playing with a black mesh. I used two layers together and gathered them by a machine. I then gathered the printed fabric as well, but realized after pinning it that I would prefer using pleating like I did for the rest of this corset. I took the measurement of the black mesh panel and pleated to the right length. Now I just needed to assemble all three layers together. I repeated the same steps for the back skirt and, and stitched everything on the inside. I know it looks very unequal right now, don't worry about it, it will be fixed.
This is the final result of the Phaeton corset. I am really pleased with this result. This has definitely become one of my favorite projects. If you'd like to commission a corset, please check my email in the description box. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye!